Okay, this is a quick introduction to the third Stripes Campaign After Action Report for Team Yankee. On this side of the board here, we have an M1 tank company that has been deployed. I've got a few chaparrales here. I've got a couple of M901s. I've got a pair of M163s. I've got one platoon here of M1 tanks guarding the riverbank. I've got a mech platoon over here guarding the other side there. One objective has got a couple of mines and a ranged in marker. Over here behind the church we have got our HQ section ready to go in case things are going bad and we have another M1 tank platoon recovering this particular objective. The second objective is over here which happens to be the command post for a certain Colonel Reynolds. And over here is an actual piece of the Berlin Wall. Now, on the other side, we have a T-72 tank company. Holy cow. Okay, we have got 10 tanks in one group, 9 tanks in another. We have our Carnation Instant Breakfast Battery here. And we have got our motorized... Rifle platoon along with the BMP-1, uh, ready to be an observer for the artillery. We also have a pair of Heinz that are coming uh, on board as well. So the scenario itself, I took it from Flames of War. This is a no retreat. I modified it in that there are no reserves for anybody, no ambush. Everything is deployed on the table. Both sides know exactly what's coming. Okay, so this is going to be a very interesting fight, ladies and gentlemen. So just a quick show here of what it's going to look like. So here we are at the end of Russian Turn 1. The tanks started to move forward. As you can see, some of them failed their cross-check to get out of the wheat field. These guys avoided the mine, as you can see there. American made, a copperhead, joke. Over here, this Russian tank company has started to move forward. They started to shoot here at the M1s, and they missed. This on T-72 started to open fire on the group way over there, and they missed. But the real action, without a doubt, the one that has made the big deal for turn one, ladies and gentlemen, is what has been happening with the Heinz. We started out with four Heinz going in, because in the next turn they were going to give the salvo to the infantry platoon. But, but what happened? Well, the chaparrales gave their feelings to the Heinz. One went down hard into the woods. But wait, the 50 calibers of the M113s started to fire on the second hind, and it went down hard in the field, just outside the mech platoon's positions in the woods. All right, so the Russians are moving out, as this is the end of Russian turn one. Let's see how the Americans are going to respond. end of American turn one the Americans fought back the mech platoon that was about to be hit by the Heinz uh, well the 50 cals off of the M113 APCs here took out a second hind so yeah that was kind of nasty meanwhile the Americans the American toes from our Cobras went, fired, and took out two T-72s. We had this group of M1s fire on this forward group here. Took out two T-72s there. And we had one American Abrams went, fire, and took out one more. Russian T-72. So, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of American Turn 1, the Russians are hurting, uh, but the Russians are gearing up to give the Americans a nasty surprise. 
So, who's going to win this? We'll soon find out, won't we? Okay, we're at the end of Russian turn two. It has been an exciting event here. Uh, the Chaparrales opened up on the Hines in the defensive fire phase. Didn't bring anybody down except the 50 cows of the M113s opened up on the remaining two Hines. And one went down here. And the other one took a little longer to go and crash behind the M1 Abrams tanks. Impressive, outstanding shooting for that mech platoon. Meanwhile, this T-72 tank company has decided to move out. They've gone a little bit further, passed a few cross checks, and were able to get a little further, got into a shooting match with those M1 Abrams there, missed. This T-72 group decided to get out, except these two T-72s, they love to fail their cross checks. Okay, these guys ended up in the woods. This guy tried to cross into the other field, but failed. These other T-72s did move, try to engage the M1 platoon here on the other side of the river. Everybody missed. Statistically speaking, that shouldn't have happened, but everybody missed. I don't know what was up with the Russian gunners. Stayed up late the night before. They partied. Hard to tell, but at this point now, we are at the bottom of turn two. It is going to be the American turn two. Okay, here we are at the bottom half of U.S. turn two, and there's been a lot of fighting between our M1s and our T-72s. I took out, well, the Americans took out one T-72, and the other T-72 was bailed. These M1s fired on this group here, only resulting in one failed. That's it. Ho hum. What a turn. The helicopter toes just didn't do anything this turn. So that's it for American turn two. Let's see what happens. So here we are at the end of Russian turn three. As you can see, the bumps have moved forward. They've crossed. Some of them crossed the stream. They're going to go into the woods. The pre-ranged marker here resulted in a bombardment here from the Carnation Instant Breakfasts. And they caused the guys to duck, but they gave them the special gift of being pinned down. Meanwhile, these two, this T-34, T, not T-34, Wrong War, T-72, went fired on the Abrams here, resulting in a miss. More T-72s are burying their barrels here on this M1 tank company defending the riverhead, and everybody missed. Or I should say, they didn't miss, they hit, and clang, 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 no results. All in all, disappointing turn three for the Russians. And now, a word from our sponsor. Are you tired of playing snakes and ladders? Are you tired of playing pinnacle? Are you tired of your mother's Warhammer 40k pink space marines taking on the space pansy elves? Time for a real game. Welcome the Flames of War. Flames of War covers World War II in 15 millimeter scale. Here you have all the rules to cover the midpoint of the war, 42 to 43. Each page is lavishly illustrated with colorful photographs, diagrams, charts for ease of play. This is Flames of War, available at your fine discriminating local game stores. And welcome back, Team Yankee fans. So here we are at the end of American Turn 3. Our helicopters moved to another side of the board to take advantage of firing positions. The M1s engaged the T-72 here. No results. Not particularly exciting. Our mech platoon is still pinned down from that salvo. Must have been a very ugly experience. And these M1 tanks opened up, took out another one more T-72, bailed out another and bailed out another. 
It's getting nasty here, folks. It really is. Looks like the Russian attack may be Stalin. Will the Americans counterattack and rout them? That is the big question. Stay tuned for Russian Turn 4. Once more, we are gathered together. So this is the end of Russian Turn 4. Action-packed, to be certain. T-72s, what's left of them, have brought themselves up. They're now taking cover behind the woods. The bumps are moving a little bit further down. They're getting closer into the woods. They're probably going to disgorge the infantry onto a pinned group. This T-72 is still nice and pinned. The other T-72 formation has gotten into a massive firefight with the American M1 tank platoon there guarding the riverbank. We finally got somebody pinned and they finally took out an M1 tank. Absolutely incredible. Outstanding. Okay, the Russians are not giving this up. Not by the long shot. Now we're going for the American half of the turn. And here we are at the end of American Turn 4. I'm telling you, the wrecks are just piling up. Incredible. So, RHQ platoon came from behind the church, wheeled around, and started firing on these guys here. They took out this one. But wait. This guy survived. Not only survived the morale, well, actually, he couldn't have survived the morale because Cobras fired their toes and took him out. Scratch out one T-72 kank. America! Okay. On the other end over here, it has been a slugfest with the Americans firing on the T-72s. Again, we have... Let's see, we got one more bailed out. And at this point now, this T-72 company is down to three tanks that are operational, one tank that's bailed out. And the formation commander is sitting there, uh, not deciding what in the world to do. This is not looking good. Will the hope lie in the Motorized Infantry Company? Stay tuned, Team Yankee fans. All right, we are at the end of Russian Turn 5, and as you can see, our T-72s have been moving forward here, taking shots at the Americans, completely and totally missing. You're wondering about the formation commander. He cannot cross out of that field. I think there's a conspiracy behind this, and I'm going to have to mention this in the battle report. Our Carnation Instant Breakfast Platoon has been pounding away at those three units there based off of the pre-planned artillery spot. Nothing. Zero. Except the Americans are still pinned. And our BMPs are doing the BMP shuffle. They're rearranging. Perhaps next turn they will disgorge themselves and continue on the glorious fight. All in all, ladies and gentlemen not looking good not looking good whatsoever for the ruskies all right the end of russian turn five so here we are at the end of american turn five the m1s fired on what's left of this company destroyed one more tank and two more got bailed out been nasty very nasty indeed uh, they passed their, for these guys, in fact here, passed their formation uh, morale check. I mean their unit morale check, not formation. Nothing has exactly happened over here except our HQ section pulled back. And as our helicopter is flying over, and we got our Cobras coming up on the Carnation Instant Breakfast. And they actually took out one. So, here we are. Do the Russians go for turn six, or do they call it at this point? The only thing they got left that's intact would be their motorized infantry. The commander still has not gotten out of the grain field yet, but again, there's a reason for that. And, well, you know what? This T-72 
company here is pretty much shredded. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, the Russian player, wait, 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 where's the formation commander? Wait, what? He's not there? Where is he? What happened to him? You'll find out in our next installment. But for now, the Russians are disorganized and they are now falling back. Major, major victory for the Americans. I believe it's six to one. Awesome performance, boys. Awesome performance.